Hey, hey, what's up, pop stars? This is Pop Gibberish. I'm Joe. I'm Shay. And today we're watching episode five of Swarm. Uh, in the previous episode, uh, we got a special guest uh, from Billie Eilish, and she was a cult leader named yes. Eva. And uh, we thought that she was going to... What's weird is I can't tell who we were kind of rooting for in that situation, because it was like... I wasn't rooting for any. <laughs> it was like a bunch of crazy people with one crazy psychotic killer person so <laughs> yeah I so mean, it wasn't anyone to root for him you know in my opinion <laughs> right because i realized that they all were unique right they were quite touched in in a way that um <laughs> that seemed to fit with this show because we at first we were like you know everybody in this show seems a little off for some reason like every character that's introduced seems a little off so but anyway we're gonna jump into episode five <laughs> and uh we're gonna see who's who's gonna be in this episode and hopefully yeah. she doesn't hurt anybody in this episode uh but yeah if you like what we're doing here go ahead and like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you can get a notification every single time we drop a video to our patrons you're gonna get this early and also to our patrons thank, thank you. you uh we're gonna go ahead and jump into it you got okay. anything cool. let's get to it cool let's do it what secret uh, somebody hit Nyjah in the face yeah, yeah, apparently the whole thing went down at her husband Cache's after party. Yeah, yeah, I was in Toronto at the time, uh, but I was getting a lot of texts about it. So you and Jenny weren't there? Sadly, no. Yeah, it makes me feel a lot better about not... I'm starting off with the buzzing sound. Right. Okay, copy that, copy that. Well, my name is Kenny. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Marissa. Huh? Jackson. All right, Marissa Jack. Hmm. So she gonna use her name. Right. 713. Mm-hmm. 082. Mm-hmm. 2291. All right. Is she gonna have a passcode on there? For this account? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? You seem like you're in a pickle. So let me help a sister out, okay? That's funny. That's the same uh, uniform they used to have a Sprint Oh, yeah. Number has been yep. deactivated by Harris Jackson. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> he turned the phone off. Yeah. And um, it also says that this number will be reassigned in 10 days. Oh, wow. There's no. It says it right here. Apparently, this phone does not belong to you. Hmm. Is Harris Jackson a relative of yours? There's usually no counter to say when a phone number is going to be reassigned. Mm -hmm. I, worked, I worked at cell phone companies before. That's not a thing. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe it's something new. <laughs> Maybe. It's just a really important things on it. Really important. Well, everything is still on there. You I need it to work. Wow. Hmm. Well, I can't, but I can call Mr. Jackson for you. Oh. oh. Poor guy. You know what? This is feeling a little bit sketchy. Yeah, he should have called security when she smacked him. Right. Sorry, I cannot help you, ma'am. You can or you won't. Don't, don't, don't do anything to him. Intense. I'm <laughs> <laughs> this is intense. Ooh. Hmm. I hope she don't do nothing to him. Me neither. You're just doing his job. What is she wearing? Something hideous. Hold up. Dre. Oh, is that the lady that, um... Oh, my God. Dre! Oh, my God. I think she used to work with her sister, at, yeah. at, I believe. At the booth, the t-shirt place? Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. How is she... You bet Nigel? Did she go back to the same mall? Probably. Maybe. Maybe. What's that? Maybe. <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> Don't worry. Because I'm gonna keep. Oh, you know, that looks like Ellen. Like the, yeah. the way it's set up. Like yeah, the show. It the, 
couch and the thing in the background. Right. Would do that. Oh, and her name is Helen. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry. The same font and everything. Yep. Sharpstown Mall sucks now, so the pay's pretty consistent here. So how long you been back? You split so randomly. Hmm. Here for a little while and then just gotta take care of something. Where'd you go? A little bit of everywhere. Mm-hmm. We saw you. Um, leave the funeral. Mm. Is everything okay? So she wasn't allowed to go, but she was allowed to go. Fitting. I was wildin' for a minute after she died. I think everyone handled it differently. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's angry. Please don't hurt her. I'm trying to figure out why she would be angry. It's like honoring her. Coming back, looking all stylish and shit. Where you been? I was traveling, now I'm settled in LA. La la, fancy, what you doing there? This and that. Oh. It's just, I made a promise to Marissa that I would leave Houston. I started doing- Why her voice, like, Get out. Naisha's mom? Yes. And she's so nice. And she... She used to be living in her own world. She do. There, I walk to the table. And it's Naisha. It's Naisha. And she's glowing. Like we've always known each other. And we just, we talk for hours. <laughs> I get there at 11 a.m. and I don't leave. She knows that she is crazy. Yeah. Wow. You know, I always knew you were going to be something. <sighs> Weird. Hmm. That's something. She's not. I'd be so proud of you. Hmm. No, she wouldn't. <laughs> that one eye just keeps tearing up yeah <laughs> <laughs> weird is she okay i don't i don't think anybody in this show is okay <laughs> house is this and whose car is that I know right oh did she find her Nigel's mom's house for real probably oh this is mm. the jack oh no Yes. I'm sure that there was a door from the garage that led into the house. I think so too, but I think she's trying to get into Marissa's room mm -hmm. or Marissa's old room. Yep. Which is now an office. Or it could have been her old room if they were Maybe. sisters. Yeah, because we don't know her last name, do we? We don't. We just know her name is Dre. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, do we get to see her in any of the pictures? So I'm seeing one child. One child. And that's Marissa. I think. Yeah. So yeah, not her real sister. Yeah. That was bold. She just get her. The dog might know her though. Bark. That's a good boy. Hey, Otis. Come on. Oh. Is she gonna hurt the dog? I hope not. Hi. Oh, you got fat. Hey, buddy. Hi, big boy. We used to friend. I was a friend. I thought she was gonna break his neck. She's so vicious. She is. Okay, it's almost seven o'clock there. She's and nobody's right. There. Make a copy of the picture or take it. Oh, wait. Oh. Did they take her out of all the pictures? They probably did. Six days old. So that's her real sister. She know where everything is. Right. So they just disowned her. Oh, six days old. She. She must have killed. She killed the, the baby. baby. The milk. Milk and blood. Yeah. She spilled the milk. Oh, my God. Is she going to kill she she killed the little baby when she was a kid and they probably put her in some kind of probably some kind of home probably why they keep showing that oh okay is she waiting for them to get home yeah or? she's gonna use the gun and make them turn the phone back on So they have an alarm system. Oh, because she went through the bedroom window. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. What you getting now? Some hair products. Every day I come here, you got a new boxy. Wow. I was waiting on... Lock the door. I mean, it doesn't matter. Your daughter's in there, but... Which one? Ricardo? No, the other one. Hmm. I'll take care of it later. Oh boy. You left the light on up here. No, she didn't. Asked today if other women have received money from the president, Press Secretary Sarah Sanders would only say that she's not aware. Oh boy. Don't hurt these people. Oh, I don't want to hear a gunshot go off. That is creepy. Marissa's phone. I don't deal with any of that. You need to speak to Harris. Yeah, well, I'm talking to you. No, you are not. Sort that with him. You can't take much more away from us than you already have. Hmm. Listen, just please turn the phone back on. Just please, the phone. <gasps> uh oh. What? The gun down. He was ready for her. Right. This is Texas. I'll shoot your ass and have a beer over your dead body. 
I'm only going to say this one more time. Put the gun. Oh. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody come to see you, Otis. <laughs> he looks good still. Wow, he does not age. <laughs> Ooh. That thunder came in right at the right moment. <laughs> He does not age. That's crazy. But are they okay? I what mean, I mean, if I they are get her parents. What? They kind of have a little bit of something going on, right? Possibly. Something about Marissa's phone. Phone. Oh. She's just trying to turn it back on. Why are you really here? The phone. Is she pouring something to drink? I think so. How long was she lying to us behind our back? In your rent. Oh. We took care of each other. Bullshit. Oh, they keep showing that no time to think about why. that rolling pin right there. The highest moments, that's when the devil comes for you. What they don't tell you is that your lowest, he's already motherfucking there. Hmm. Why don't they just call the cops and have her, um, She's smart. Yeah. I mean, crazy, but look how fast she thought to protect herself. I guess that was her old room or Marissa's old room. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or they moved her stuff upstairs. Mm, probably, yeah. Oh. Did she oh. break her leg? I don't know. Oh. Baby girl, I will kill your ass. He's real I mean his aim is her horrible. I mean Called them anyway. What is going on? Who are those people out there? Neighbors. So they should call the cops. They probably is. Or. But like I said before, pretty much everybody in this show is a little, a little off for some reason. The fact that she was able to get away with that many murders without no kind of investigation no like any other show or tv show or movie would be there'd be cops after her damn you to hell wow oof that was intense yeah yeah that was that was a crazy one i'm glad nobody well i can't say nobody got <laughs> hurt but i'm glad nobody she didn't take anybody out in this one Right. And the fact that I guess that was her mother and father, I assume. What he was um, saying about when the business is going well, then here comes, you know, mm -hmm. Satan. And like, was she, were they going through an adoption process and she ended up at their door or, you know, like, what was he really saying well, I mean, directly like about her coming to be a part of their life it sounded like that there was a parallel thing going on with his right. business andrea right he was saying when the business is going good then that's when the devil comes mm -hmm. so apparently they're right now was he calling her the devil they're prospering but she she brought evil to them like she brought chaos to them essentially but i mean mm. 
again they didn't they didn't really explain a whole lot it wasn't i thought we were gonna get like the meat and potato of the situation right more they kind of dropped a few raindrops yeah. in the bucket but they didn't really give us um any more clarity than what we already speculated right so right. and it's, then the mother where did she go like it was just well no i mean police cars came we didn't hear any sirens <laughs> well because in texas if they have the law where if you get if somebody breaks to your house in texas you they can shoot them. right yeah. you, can t- you can shoot absolutely them. and he would have rather just done that than call the cops mainly because of the fact that he wanted to do it probably anyway yeah because of all the stuff that's been going on yeah so but it sounds like they assumed that she killed marissa right well i mean they blame her for her death i don't know if they thought that she killed her her directly but definitely knew that she was involved in some way shape form or fashion yeah so they i mean and that was her apartment apparently that was Drea's apartment that Marissa was paying for. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, right, right. and she was using her parents' money, sounds like. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. So, yeah, apparently she was lying to her, her parents about where she was and, you know, who she was with. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But that was crazy. And the fact that he had no remorse, like, I'm taking you out. Like, you yeah. need to go. Yeah. I mean, with all the stuff that she's done, though, I'm like... Can you blame him? <laughs> like, I didn't feel sorry for her. If you, if he had known about all the stuff that she did up until that point, yeah, uh-huh. everything seems warranted at that point. Like you are dangerous and you need to go. <laughs> I'm wondering if I don't think he really wanted to kill her. I think he wanted to scare her away forever hmm. and not because a man having a shotgun like that and it sounds ridiculous with me saying it but i don't think he really wanted to kill her i think those are warning like warning shots like i can shoot you if i want to but Mm. you can't come back to this house stay away i don't care if you you know if you are our child we're done with you You like do not come back here yeah Mm. i think he was trying to scare her i don't know away but i don't think she can be scared away to be I, honest i mean i don't think she'd ever go back to that to that house i don't think she's gonna go back either yeah i think she's I think that hurt her with, yeah with trying to get back there for whatever reason yeah and i don't i don't i don't agree with the idea of i think i think he was trying to take her out but he didn't want to do it in their kitchen i mean he didn't want to do it with 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 the wife watching like yeah. it would have been too gruesome to yeah. see that and yeah. he was going to do it and then call the cops and be like, hey, I had an intruder. I shot him. You know, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But when she but just like in any any movie or TV show, when there's a lot of monologuing and stuff like that, like if they don't just do it right away, you know, the main the main character is going to always get away. I know? feel like if he really wanted to kill her, he would have though you know like i feel like he he had perfect time with her dropping down hurting well, herself got, he could have ran down the steps and ran out the door she's and got, got her. plot armor though because she's the main character of the move of the show yeah that's that's yeah. that's where that's coming yeah from. i, get I it. think he actually did want to kill her but the whole thing was he didn't want to do it in front of his wife and when he started talking and getting over he, he basically missed his opportunity to do it and then he was chasing after her and then he was like he could have he probably could have ran after her but he i don't think he knew that she hurt her leg getting out the window or whatever the case is and he was shooting after her but the the law also you can't chase the person down and shoot them outside once they leave um, your house in texas huh? right once they leave your house you don't mm. have any more jurisdiction to do that mm. so even he, though she was on his property that's why he was still shooting he was still shooting and then it was like he was she was gone you know but it has to be it's i think it's interior you can't mm. like you can't shoot somebody for being on your lawn you can't shoot somebody for being on your property they have mm. to be in your house mm. so like that and that whole thing i mean i'm not i don't i'm don't quote me. I'm sure a lot of you at home probably already know this or whatever the case is, or you probably know more about this stuff than I do. But that's that's my interpretation of that situation. He couldn't have shot her outside of his house because then he would have gone to jail. But inside the house, fair game. Okay. So, okay. but yeah, so, but yeah. Makes it, sense. It's a crazy, it's a crazy show. I mean, Ooh. 
<laughs> Donald Glover is they are a trip man uh, the writers of the show and Donald Glover and uh, like they know how to like like for some reason I, not that I was rooting for her but for some reason I was scared for her like it was like this weird mixed feeling like I kind of wanted her to get away for whatever reason but I didn't want her to get what, away from her parents house yeah because every time they put her up against somebody who seems worse than her then it's like the lesser of two evils type situation. When she's up against somebody who seems innocent or seems like they're they're capable of uh, or not capable of care- dealing with themselves or deal uh, dealing with things themselves, then it's like, okay, please don't hurt that person. You know, it's like it's this weird thing that they that the writers do to make you kind of she's crazy she's definitely crazy she's definitely in the wrong in everything that she's doing (laughs) we're following the bad guy of the story we're definitely following the bad guy of the story but when they put her in a situation where there's somebody not necessarily worse than her but like like what is going on with this person who can be worse than her we don't see we don't see those people having a track record of just sporadically showing up somewhere because they don't like somebody that they like and just killing them i i totally agree with that she's the worst of all of them i totally agree with that but like when she was getting when she was got uh pulled over by the cop by the weird weirdly acting cop who was kind of like racially profiling her that in that situation for some reason I was like, don't do nothing. Like, don't do nothing to the I wanted him to arrest her. (laughs) Right. I mean, I wanted wanted her to get caught for doing the bad thing that she's done. But I didn't want her to get racially profiled, (laughs) which was... it, it's a weird thing that the writers have they've been walking this weird line uh through this show to make you kind of like like you're like she's really messed up oh i hope she doesn't i hope this doesn't happen oh she this is i hope she gets caught oh wait don't do that you know like it's just it's this weird little dichotomy it's like it, hmm. you, you don't feel for her but you sounds like you have a little soft spot for her little karma moments she she does yeah that's what they are they are karma moments it's like situations where it's like your the repercussions of the things you've done are coming back to haunt you and i can see that that's instant karma for her i can can definitely see that i can definitely see that because she's she's definitely Mm -hmm. off she is off the reservation she is off her brain is gone at this point but it's like she gets put in these situations you're like oh (laughs) Oh. I, I hope nothing that's happens. you <laughs> speak for yourself there is no we in that it's weird it's weird only because i want to see where this is going like what, what's going <laughs> what's happening i don't want her to hurt anybody else but i want to see where this is we going. already like, we kind of know that she won't get hurt um in the sense where it ends the show but, right well we we hope not but i mean i hope not but like it's like two more episodes left so seeing that her situations that she keeps running into she's putting herself in them yeah definitely she was falling asleep behind the wheel when the cop pulled like he would have been minding his business still had she not been swerving on the road what if there was a car coming toward her she would have hit them she was like falling asleep yeah so i mean he was (laughs) he was weird and we can see that he didn't do anything to her i think he wanted i think he felt like she may have been on some bs and he asked the right questions to kind of see what she would say right and he said that he was going to follow her to make sure that um she got where she was going okay right now whether if he meant that with sincerity or what but he knew she was on some bs we knew she was on bs of course <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but uh he may not have put himself well if it's a small town and he might be the sheriff and the judge and you know the jury and all of that right so there's no telling what he would have done but he was weird yeah but if she would have got what she got that was karma true very true that would have been karma he was her karma right so but you know she kind of went through um some things where i think eva or billy i yeah. billy um eilish eilish character was um i think she wanted to try to save her or cure her you know i think yeah. that i think she was playing god in a lot of those ladies lives 
where they felt like, oh, we can't go on without you because, you know, you are our savior. Right. And I think that um, Drea was a project for her. And she wanted to see, like, if she was up for the challenge to try to cure this chick or make her a part of the cult. But regardless of that, when Drea meets someone is just as crazy as her or equally crazy as her, that's her karma. And yeah. I'm here for it because I mean, like, I want to see, you know, her get it, get her but hand it to her mm. you know so i don't have any sympathy for her i don't because we're watching her take people lives off of her obsession with niger right that's true she's crazy that's that's the most ridiculous reason to end someone's life she's taking their life into her hands and saying oh you don't like niger oh well off you go like who? right she needs to be put away permanently yeah no yeah. so that's that's where I stand on it. You can keep feeling sorry for me. <laughs> I'm not, and I don't. So it's not that I feel sorry. Is that it, it was like this weird, morbid curiosity more than anything else. <laughs> okay. It's like, you know. But anyway, anyway, we're gonna. Jump what do you guys it. think? Go <laughs> yeah. ahead and let us know where you stand with this. Right. Like you rocking with <laughs> no, I, these I, I, soft look. moment spots that he got going on for old girl here, or you like you know? I mean, you, she you needs team help. Shay on this one. She cause. needs help. I I I don't I don't want her to be taken out. I want her to be arrested and and get like help. Yeah, permanently like, <laughs> like arrested, you know. put in a black hole. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she needs like some kind of you know like. Yeah. she can't she can't get therapy for this no yeah she's uh, gone yeah she is gone you can't reason with this girl I don't, yeah, I don't know if there's any um any uh S permanent sedation what was it what's the i'm trying to think of, what's the word with uh where you get re rehabilitation yeah rehabilitation. there's no rehabilitation yeah. <laughs> yeah. she's done for some yeah. people you cannot they can't be saved she's mm -hmm. not savable but anyway. we're going to go ahead and jump to episode six. Uh, so if you like what we're doing here, go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get a notification every single time we drop a video. Uh, to our patrons, you're going to get this early. And also to our patrons, thank, thank you. you. Uh, we definitely appreciate you. And uh, yeah, we are enjoying the show. We're enjoying the show. <laughs> it's it's crazy. It's crazy <laughs> stuff. Uh, and what's, what's really getting me is the fact that at the beginning it said, uh, this is not a fictional story. Uh, I know, I is, saw that. This, it's yeah, intentional. I, and, right. But yeah. notice every time they put Swarm up, it's telling us something that's going to go on in the episode. Right. The last yeah, yeah, yeah. episode yeah. It showed flowers. flowers. And, like, and, and this I one was about like Midsummer, that movie where it was all flowers and stuff. It was, yeah. it was a cult situation. That was the same, yeah. the same thing. Uh, and um then this episode it was like the broken broken screen, glass broken yeah glass, it was shattered yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah so yeah let's see what the next episode is <laughs> yeah you got anything we'll just we'll make a prediction off of like when you see <laughs> oh, yeah. swarm name see come up like okay <laughs> what do you think this one is going to be about yeah. based off that. of how swarm appeared on the monitor but anyway <laughs> see <it> wrapping up <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> Peace out. Peace.